What's good, y'all? It's your boy KCB. We back at it. We got another video today. Um, so this one, I just wanted to make sure I put on my channel because I want every producer that um, comes to my channel, you know, to be able to make, you know, dope beats, make their own loops, their own loop kits, and uh, of course upload their beats uh, to certain websites and know how to sell them. Um, or at least start selling some so we're gonna work on that today so the first part is we're gonna work on uploading your beats um, now this also could apply to we are gonna be using BeatStars but this could apply to many other websites as well as even selling directly to uh, rappers as well because pretty much any time you're gonna send out beats um, or at least when somebody buys the beat especially an exclusive there's certain things you're gonna want to have that you can send them certain files so we're gonna go ahead and get right into that so we got this beat here We got a dope beat here already. We got, you know, we got it all made. We got it all uh, put together and everything. And so I'm gonna kind of show you guys the first steps in terms of what to do uh, to start exporting to upload. So of course, once you have the beat there, we got our tag on this one. We're gonna go ahead, go to export, go to MP3. Uh, it's a good thing to make. So like, I have a beat stars upload file here. So I have that. I have my mp3 tagged here so these are going to be all my beats that are of course tagged uh, that are mp3 so I usually just kind of take a you know, file there I'm calling this one trapped out so we'll trapped out and then I usually put like you know yeah probably by Kyle cook this beat I'm gonna put the key or the BPM there so we got 142 so we got it that um, you know we just have it all set up ready to go here it should already be ready for you I'm just hit start we're gonna go ahead and let this upload and then from there uh, actually export and then from there we're gonna do the wave next and then we're gonna do the track outs or the stems after that now that part is gonna take you know a little bit longer but it's pretty simple once you kind of get the basics of how to do the exports for those stems um, the process once you get that down it always takes just a little bit of time but it's gonna speed it up once you've done it a few times and then um, from there, in terms of, you know, like selling your beats, you can, of course, sell through BeatStars, Airbit, you know, other platforms as well. Um, or you can sell directly to rappers on Instagram. I recommend going, you know, using certain hashtags like, you know, unsigned rapper, upcoming rapper. You can do like Florida rap, Atlanta rap, you know, Southern rap. You can do different types, you know, trap beats, hard trap, stuff like that. You can uh, go ahead and look up and find certain rappers I usually will like and comment on some of their uh, their pictures or their videos or whatever um, just to kind of let them know that you know you will support them and then from there I'll usually send them a DM just say hey man I really you know mess with your music uh, usually do kind of a little bit of a back and forth with them and then I'll say hey I have you know some hard beats I think you'd really enjoy I'll usually send them on a pack and then from there if they like it then we'll discuss pricing so that's just one way you can start selling beats to rappers as well as using like the BeatStars platform you can also pay to promote on BeatStars so more people end up seeing your beats they have certain playlists and all of that so that's one way you can really start selling to rappers it will of course take time and you know you will have to really work at it it's not going to come easy um, you know and of course post on Instagram daily you know make reels you know do all kinds of things just to attract uh, new rappers to your music so yeah so we got that mp3 there the next one is going to be an untagged wave so from there we're just going to delete my tag I'm gonna go to the wave file I'm gonna go back to our BeatStars uploads wave untagged kind of do the same thing again So same thing, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna upload that, and then after this, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, 
the stems or track outs. For that, there's one method I like to do that makes it just a little bit easier, um, puts everything in the uh, correct mixer spaces, and then from there, wow, just makes exporting just a little bit easier for you. Oh so I'm gonna do that here in a second. All right, for the stems or track outs, one thing you will want to do um, just to make this easier for whoever gets the stems or track outs is like we can see with this kick here, um, it's called the, you know, Cymatics Cobra Kick 2 C Sharp. We want to simplify that a little bit just so when someone sees the kick, they don't have to like read through all of this and they can see right away kick, clap, all that. So we're just going to go ahead and just name this kick. This is a snare, so snare. Uh, we can leave this one because it's fairly shortened. Like this is another snare. So we'll just say snare two. Uh, this we're just gonna call it a effects. And go eight oh eight, just so this is a lot easier for whoever you know might be mixing this uh, this beat here. Sometimes you'll sell an exclusive, and you know they'll have an engineer makes it maybe a little bit different um, when they get in the studio so that just kind of helps out with that so once we have everything lined up here we're gonna go ahead and just double click right here select every uh, all of our channels there we're gonna go to our mixer here you gonna right click go channel routing route selected channel starting from this track we're gonna hit that it's gonna line everything up okay so we got the selected uh, channels to our certain mixers there so we got everything lined up the way it should be so that way um, each channel is on the correct mixer and then so from there what we're going to do is we're going to go to export we're going to go to wave files we're going to make a you can make a track outs folder and in this one what i usually do is i'll say kcb kind of like shortened out for your producer name um, and then we're going to say trapped out so then it'll be like trapped out kick, trapped out snare, trapped out, you know, so it'll be the song name with that as well. You hit save, and this is the important part, you need to hit split mixer tracks. We're going to hit that, and we're going to export it. Alright, so from there we exported it, so we're going to go into our file, we see all the trapped out, 808, hat, you know, everything there, kick, all that. So we're going to take that, we're going to make sure we highlight everything, you're going to go send to a compressed zipped folder. We're gonna put that in there and then we're just gonna name it um, the trapped out track outs so we're gonna do that and then from there we have everything we need to start uploading all right so we got the folder there so yeah we're just gonna call it trapped out track outs there's that then I'll usually click and just make sure that everything is in there so yep we got it all in there of these files just so we don't have a bunch of extra files here in our folder all right so we got that done so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload this on uh, BeatStars here but of course this could work on various platforms so if you are do have BeatStars we're gonna go my media go to create track and we're going to start uploading this one so what i like to do first i made my own artwork for this um, but one thing you can do is if you can afford uh 20 a month i would use photoshop just because it is you know another creative skill you can have and um, you can even work with artists and make their own covers too um, i've done that you know several times and uh yeah it's just one other way you can even make money you know as a uh as an artist so got my cover here so we're gonna go ahead and use that. Um, one other thing you can do is like, if it's a type B, you can also just take a picture of that artist. Maybe just throw a simple filter on it. Like before I got uh, Photoshop, I just used the basic, like it's pretty much like paint almost um, on the windows here. I would just kind of put like a picture of the artist there, throw on like a simple filter and then you can even use that as a cover it doesn't have to be you know your own created cover i just like to kind of practice that you know making covers as well so we're going to go ahead and get that uploaded and then from there we're going to start uploading the stems or the uh the mp3 i usually do mp3 and then we'll do the wave and then we'll do the 
check out glass. Doesn't really matter what order you have it in, but let's go ahead and do that. So there's the MV3. Start doing the wave. wave file and the wave file and the stems definitely take the longest so this is where you know you're just gonna have to sit around do something else you can you know work on other beats or do whatever but this is definitely the part that takes the longest in terms of uploading beats online um, you know like I said before if you are selling to artists directly I usually just make a file like or a, a folder with the beat name with the mp3 wave and then you can make a compressed track outs folder in there as well and then you can just send that directly to them through Google Drive or like a Dropbox or anything like that um, and so yeah so like I said I mean Instagram and other social medias are great platforms for selling beats to rappers because that way you can just kind of DM them talk to them directly a lot of times when you're talking directly to them that's a lot more uh, that's more important to them than just you know them finding a beat online you know them buying it like that does happen too but you know especially if you don't have a big following it's gonna be a lot harder to sell beats that way than it is directly um, like building a relationship with them like most of the artists I've sold to have been through DMs have been me building a relationship with them working with them um, sending them packs and then from there just selling them the beat um, beat stars I haven't sold a ton on here just because I haven't put a ton of focus into it and I'm still kind of building my brand and everything um, so yeah so if you don't have any sales in there don't worry I mean they will come um, but yeah I would recommend just kind of DMing rappers and you know building relationships that's definitely uh, one of the best routes in terms of selling beats so we're gonna take our trap outs or our track outs we're gonna go ahead and upload those all right, so we got the track outs uploaded there. So from here, we are just gonna go ahead and name our song. We're gonna trap out. Tags, you know, on this, we're gonna just put a trap beat. If it's a type beat, you can, of course, put the artist. We're gonna do beat. Just some popular tags, of course. So we're gonna do that. We got all of our pricing. Lower this. This is for like a collab. Get that there. So you know this might be different depending on what um, what sites you are uploading to. But on BeatStars here, we're just gonna do the hip hop and the trap. Uh, I usually do like bouncy, like dark, like that, your BPM, and then the key. We got to kind of remember the key. That's something that sometimes I forget. There we go. C minor. So we're going to go ahead, do C minor, and boom, a little description. Boom, just a short little description, so we got that. Um, so yeah, like I said, I mean, we got BeatStars here. There's also BeatStars playlist that you can um, upload your beats to or you can submit them for playlist entry, which that will get you a lot more views and usually get you some sales. Um, but yeah, from there, I recommend, you know, hitting rappers up on Instagram or whatever social media you're on, building relationships with them, sending them packs, and then telling them your prices, and also working out either bundles or go ahead and see what their budget is. Sometimes you have someone who, you know, maybe they get paid in a few weeks and, you know, you can work something out with them. Uh, but most of the time, if they, if you can allow them to record and rap on the beat from there, a lot of times I have, you know, rappers where they'll pay for the beat because they already put, you know, some money into it in terms of going to a studio and using it. So those are all some tactics you can use just to sell your beats. So we got that. We're going to go ahead, hit publish. And there we 
go. So we got it uploaded there. So we got another bee we can sell. So I just want to go ahead and do this video today just to kind of show you guys, you know, what you need to do in order to upload to certain sites and how to sell some beads. So hopefully this helps you guys out and you can just go off on your own from there and start making some sales. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll be back to normal next week, probably with another tutorial, you know, type beat. So going to get back right to it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hit that sub, like, comment, all that. A lot more videos on the way, of course. And until next time, y'all.